good morning on this 132nd day of 2023. We are going to be going through the book called 100 Days in Secret Place. Obviously, we're not going to Secret Place together because then it wouldn't be Secret Place, would it? That's between you and the Lord Jesus. So we are going to just go through this book and I'll point out scriptures that remind me of whatever is that day's reading. So if you go ahead and get the book on Amazon, it'll be easier to follow along, but you don't have to purchase it. We'll just kind of highlight some of the things throughout the book on the pages, like I said, assigned to that specific day. And you should still be able to glean plenty from that. I pray that you do. And so today, um, today's reading is talking about embracing the cross. A lot of times we want to just go straight to secret place. We just want to go straight to abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, right? The thing is we have to die first. We have to die to ourselves and really, really come to the cross in repentance and leave the old way. And I love that in this first day's reading, it says, when you are dead, you do not suffer. If you were completely dead to your old nature, you would no longer feel any of the pains that, you, that now bother you. <laughs> so true, it's so true. Do not add to the cross, it says later on uh, down the page, in your life. Do not add to the cross in your life by becoming so busy that you have no time to quietly sit before God. Be willing to suffer if that's what is needed. I'm just going to read you some other things I highlighted from this reading. Um, it says the cross is painful. Accept the cross and you will find peace even in the middle of turmoil. Accept the cross and you will find peace even in the middle of turmoil. In the long run, the pain of resisting the cross is harder to live with than the cross itself. And the last one I highlighted for today. Nothing so shortens and soothes your pain as the spirit of non-resistance to our Lord. <laughs> so good. It's so good. So these... Uh, most of what I'm going to read these next few days, more than a few days, um, are written by Fenelon. So, like I said, I hope this stirs your faith. And, of course, I'm going to always refer to scripture. Today's reading reminded me of Galatians 2.20. How about you? And it says this. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by, the, by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So Lord, I ask you to stir each and every one watching this, stir our faith, Lord. Stir us to want to go deeper with you into secret place, our alone time with you so that we can learn of you because your yoke is easy, your burden is light. And anytime we come away from the cross, the burden gets super heavy, super quick. We know that there's suffering involved in this walk we just ask that it's by your power that we go, that it's by your spirit that we go. Otherwise, it'll be fruitless and it'll be super hard. I pray all this over everyone watching, that they come to the cross, they stay at the cross, that they may pick it up and carry it according to your purpose for them in this life and collectively as our purpose is to know you and to make you know we love you, Jesus. Thank you for being here, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.